Hi guys, this is Miss Gold. Today's lesson is module two, lesson seven, understanding multiplication of integers. Your outcomes for today, our students practice and justify their understanding of multiplication of integers by using the integer game. Students explain that multiplying by a positive integer is repeated addition and that adding a number multiple times has the same effect as removing the opposite value the same number of times. And finally, students use the properties and facts of operations to extend multiplication of whole numbers to multiplication of integers. So in the first part of this module, we played the integer game using addition. What we're going to do in this case, because multiplication has to do with having multiples of a card in terms of the integer game, or in terms of addition, it's repeated addition, we are going to change the rules of our integer game. So let's take a look at example one. What's different about this integer game is when we pick our cards, the card that has the star underneath it is going to be repeated three times. So notice it's repeated addition, which is the same thing as multiplication. So let's say, for example, I pick up a three, a negative two, then a negative five, then a four. So in this case, it's the negative 5 that is going to be repeated three times. So I'll have negative 5, negative 5, and negative 5. So we'll just put the other cards over here. So we have a 3, a negative 2, and a 4. It says, use the cards from part B to answer the questions below. Write an expression that represents how each of the star cards changes your score. So notice that each time I add one of these star cards, my score will decrease by five. So we can show that by adding up negative fives three times. Part B says write a product that describes the three matching cards. Now we know that multiplication is repeated addition. So what I am repeating here is we have we have three negative fives. So this would be three times negative five. Now notice this is basically interpreted as picking up three negative fives. So essentially these two expressions are equivalent to each other. Negative five plus negative five plus negative five is equivalent to three times negative five. And if we look at these two, we know that the final value of these cards, negative 5 plus negative 5 is negative 10, negative 10 plus negative 5 more is negative 15. So notice, I would get the same thing with this because they're equivalent. So 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Okay, in part C and part D, let's pick a whole new set of cards. So this time, let's say the first thing I pick up is a negative 1, then I pick up a 5, then a negative 3, and then a four. And let's say that the one I'm going to repeat is this last card here, so we'll put a little star here. So if I'm going to repeat that, I need to repeat it in each one of these cards. So this would be a four, a four, a four, a four, and a four. So the first three cards that I picked up will go in these spots. So similar to our parts in the previous example, we want to write an expression that represents how each of the star cards changes your score. So in this case, we would have 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. If I wanted to write a product that describes that same process, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cards of 4. So it would be 5 times a score of 4 each. So in this case, if I want to write an equivalent expression here, we would say that 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is the same thing as 5 times 4, meaning we have 5 cards of 4. So I know that if I add up all of these numbers, 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, I'm going to get 20, and we should already know that based off of 5 times 4 gives us a value of 20. In example 2, all of the 4s from the playing hand on the right are discarded. 
how will the score be affected? So if I'm discarding these fours, we would cross off one, two, three fours. So in this case, we are basically going to discard, meaning get rid of, so I'm going to show getting rid of by negative, three cards that all have the value of four. And let's pay attention to what our total becomes. So in the beginning, I have four plus four is eight, eight plus four is 12, and then I have 12 minus five is seven. But if I take off four, my score is going to decrease four. If I take off another four, now my score is decreased by eight. And then I take off another four, my score is going to decrease by 12. What three matching cards could be added to those pictures to get the same change in score? Model this using a product in an equation. So in this case, we want to add to get the same change in score. So instead of a negative three, I would need to add three cards. But if I multiply by a positive four, that is going to increase my score. But I want my score to decrease so that it's equivalent to our value in A. So instead of a positive four, I could actually have values of negative four. So picture adding on a negative four, my score decreases by four adding on another negative four, now my scores decrease by eight. Adding on a third negative four would eventually decrease my score by 12. So essentially we would have three negative fours. Part C, so seeing how each play affects the score, relate the product that you use to model them. What do you conclude about multiplying integers with opposite signs? So in this case, we know that they're both equivalent to 12. So if they're both equivalent to 12, we can conclude that they're equivalent to each other. So we have negative three times four would be equivalent to three times negative four. So if you'll notice here, they both have the same numbers, three and four, but in each case, one is negative and the other is positive. So we've switched up between the sides as to which one's negative and which one is positive. So really, what we can conclude about multiplying integers with opposite signs is the answer will be negative because both of our answers were also negative. Let's take a look at example three. If the matching cards from the playing hand on the right are discarded, how will this hand score be affected? Model this using a product in an equation. So in this case, we are going to discard any of the cards that are the same. So in this case, I want to remove four negative two cards because we have a negative two here, 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 and here. So we're going to remove those negative twos from this pile. So remove four negative twos. And this will cause the score to change. So let's figure out what that would do. So if I remove a negative two, remember when we remove a negative, it actually causes the score to increase. So here, we remove a negative, the score is going to go up by two. If I remove this negative two, now my score will have gone up by four total. If I remove this negative, my score will have gone up by six total. And the last one, my score will have gone up by eight total. So this causes the score to increase eight points. And I can represent this by saying we discarded four cards, so we represent that using a negative. And the score of each card was negative two, but the result was the score increased by eight. So we have negative four times negative two equals eight. Part B says what four matching cards could be added to those pictures to get the same change in score? So really we're looking for the opposite of that. So we would want to add four cards with a score of two.
So essentially what I'm saying here is we're adding four cards, so that's four times each of them having a score of two, we know that also will get us a result of an increase in the score of eight points. So really, what can we conclude about this? So let's look at these two situations. They were both equivalent to eight. So therefore, we can conclude they're equivalent to each other. So four times two was equivalent to negative four times negative two. So if we look at the scenario here, we can see they, again, have the same numbers. But what's different from the left side to the right side is this side, both the numbers are positive, And on this side, both of the numbers are negative. So using our conclusions from example two and example three, what can we conclude about multiplying integers? Really what we're finding here is when we have the same sign as in this example here, so they're both positive or they are both negative, we're finding that the result is therefore a positive result. So a negative times a negative gives us a positive, but also a positive times a positive gives us a positive. If we look back to example two, we realize that when we have different signs, so a positive and a negative in any combination, when they're multiplied, the result is going to be negative. So basically, we can conclude So basically, we can conclude that when multiplying integers, same signs are equal to po a positive product, and different signs will equal a negative product. In this lesson, you have learned that multiplying integers is the same as repeated addition, and it can be modeled with the integer game. If 3 times a corresponds to what happens to your score if you get three cards of a value a, then negative 3 times a corresponds to what happens to your score if you lose three cards of a value of a. Adding a number multiple times has the same effect as removing the opposite value of the same number of times.